What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. This is Web Dev Journey and in today's video we're going to be talking about a potential new series that's going to be AWS Amplify. Now if you do, uh, let me know in the comments if you actually do want to do this series or not. I notice a lot of people don't really want to focus too much on the back end, just you know doing everything front end. So this is a great series for those kind of people. So let me know down in the comments down below if you really want this to happen. Now, um, what is AWS Amplify? Uh, you could think about it as Firebase. It's basically the same thing as Firebase. And if you still don't know what Firebase is, <laughs> uh, basically, let me go back. Basically, what this is, is just you could focus more on the front end stuff using React, you know, view, whatever you want to want to do. And then for the back end stuff like authentication, all this, you could use Amplify to do this for you. You don't really have to focus too much on the back end. You don't have to worry about creating a back end. You just need to tell Amplify, hey, I want to do authentication and ba there, basically done, right? So what Amplify actually gives you is a ton of things for the back end, like I said, authentication, APIs, data storage, I mean data store, storage, interactions, push notifications. It does a lot of the back end for you guys. It really does. You don't have to do that much on the back end to to do anything, right? You just focus mostly on the front end. And if you want to do authentication, you'd write a command for authentication. If you want to do APIs, you'd write a command for APIs and it will do all that for you. Um, in this series, what I'm going to be focusing on is um, hosting our react application or a react application using authentication and also creating a api graphql we're doing, we're doing the graphql api because again i've noticed that a lot of people like graphql um and and is familiar with graphql i'll i'll do another video on rest but after the series is done then i'll do a video on rest uh, maybe I'm not too sure how that's going to work. So, but anyways, we're going to be focusing on the API and, and authentication for these kinds of things. Okay. Now, one thing to note is that once you use Amplify, you're going to be using AWS's framework, basically all the libraries that a, uh, AWS offers. So storage, analytics, predictions, everything is going to be AWS, obviously. So if you want to do an API, you can go around the back. You know, you could try to, I mean, you could hack it and create a uh, MongoDB outside of AWS and create an API using Amplify to connect to that MongoDB. That shouldn't really be a problem. It, it is a, uh, what is it called? Like more complex, obviously, because you're going around the, uh, what is it called? What, what is that? The ecosystem of Amplify. You're going around that ecosystem, which can can be kind of tedious, but it's not impossible. Obviously, you could do that. Like I said, if this is for guys that are gals, guys or gals, you know what I'm talking about. These are for people that don't want to touch the back end that much and just don't really care about that. They just know that they need authentication, API, and storage, and they want AWS to take care of it, okay? So we're going to be doing this kind of stuff. All right. So let me know down in the description if you, you're interested in this or not. I think this is going to be a good series for those people. And yes, we are going to be doing custom domain setup. Yes, a custom domain, meaning that your own domain. Uh, we're going to be doing that as well. We're going to be literally hosting this to the Internet so that way we can see it, your applications. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool, I think. So let me know. All right. Um, with that said, I will... You know, leave it to you guys if to determine if this is going to be a good series or not. Hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below if you would like to see this series happen. And I will see you in the next video for this series, hopefully. If not, another idea, I guess. <laughs> so stay tuned. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Thank you.